hey coach, I am trying to learn Agile, and I still don't understand the difference between story points and duration. What are story points and why should I use them instead of duration? Each story in Agile is worth a certain amount of story points. These story points are relative in size to other stories in the sprint. Agile uses story points because we don't always know how long something will take. That's just ridiculous. Why can't you just tell me how long it will take to develop and test the feature like we do in traditional project management? Unlike traditional project management where the schedule focuses primarily on time, story points also considers work effort, overall risk, and complexity. If we don't yet know how long it will take, how much risk there is, the effort involved, and how complex it is, how are we supposed to give the story a size? You do what is known as relative sizing. Your team sizes the story relative to other stories in the sprint using a modified Fibonacci sequence. A modified what? A modified Fibonacci sequence. It consists of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 20, 40, and 100. Ah, yes. I've heard of a Fibonacci sequence before, but wouldn't 21 be the next value after 13, and not 20? That's why it's a modified Fibonacci sequence. The higher values, 21, 34, and so on, give the false impression that you are quite confident in the size. In reality, anything over 13 is considered quite fuzzy and is sometimes referred to as an epic, or very large story. Let me see if I understand this correctly. We use story points because we don't always know how long it will take to develop and test something. So instead of saying it will take three days, we say it is worth three points. That seems kind of silly. Well, not really. Remember, story points are based on four factors, work effort, time, risk, and overall complexity. When you assign points to a story, three days does not always equal three points. Story points are relative to other stories, and are not solely based on time. Also, story points should include testing of the feature. Remember, it is not just the developers that size a story, testers must also be involved, and have an equal say. Okay, I think I understand story points better now, but how do they relate to story size? Sprint stories are sized relative to each other, based on their point value. Let me give you an example. During sprint planning, let's say there are five different stories slash features that you are considering for the next sprint, and need to be sized. One way to size these stories is to look for a relatively easy or small story. Keeping in mind the four factors that make up story points, we will arbitrarily assign the story, two points. Next we look for a story that we can assign a value of five points to. Relative to the first story, this one should be about two and a half times more work effort, duration, risk, and overall complexity, than a story worth two points. Go on. We now have two different stories with points assigned, one relatively easy story worth two points, and a more complex story worth five points. With these two base points, we can now assign story points to the rest of the stories, making them relative in size to the two we just did. I think I get it. Keeping the four factors in mind, a story with a size of eight would be four times more complex than the story worth two points, or about one and a half times more complex than the story that has five points. Exactly. So why do we pick a two instead of picking the smallest, or easiest story and giving it a size of one? The reason we start out with a two is because it allows us room in case a smaller, or easier story exists, or gets added during sprint planning that could be worth one story point. Remember, these are only estimates, and our goal is to size these stories relative to each other. That makes quite a lot of sense. Thank you for the explanation. You're welcome. Good luck with your next sprint planning. <laughs>